This film will show you what to expect if you are having a coronary angioplasty and stents inserted. My name's Rick. I come from Bury and I came into hospital for a coronary angioplasty. Chest pains, I used to get like a head, banging headache and like sensations down both arms. But it could be exertion or sometimes just getting up out of bed. The hopes for the future, obviously, cut down on my medication and I'll be able to do things without discomfort in the chest. I'm Jadeep Sama. I'm a consultant interventional cardiologist at Withenshaw Hospital here in South Manchester. So we're with a young man called Richard, who's in his mid-40s, who's got significant coronary disease in all three arteries in his heart. So we're going to start off with a relatively complex procedure for opening up his arteries using angioplasty or balloon and wire techniques so that we can start working away and unblocking the vessel. When you have coronary heart disease, fatty deposits build up on the inner walls of your coronary arteries, causing narrowing or blockages which restrict blood flow to your heart. A coronary angioplasty, or PCI, is a procedure used to widen these blocked or narrowed areas. A catheter, thin, flexible tube, is passed into your artery through your groin or arm, and then up to your heart and into the blocked area. The catheter has a small balloon at its tip, which is gently inflated so that it squashes the fatty tissue in the narrowed artery. The catheter also contains a stent, a small tube of stainless steel mesh. As the balloon is inflated, the stent expands so that it holds open the narrowed blood vessel. The balloon is let down and removed, leaving the stent in place, allowing your blood to flow more easily. The operation is performed under local anaesthesia with sedation. When we start an angioplasty, we set up our equipment in much the same way that we do for an angiogram. We put a very small needle into the artery, again, either the groin or the wrist, and use that needle to feed a tiny wire into the artery. That allows us to put a plastic tube over the wire, removing the needle, and then that plastic tube allows us to inject liquid dye into the arteries, allowing us to see the course of the arteries on the X-ray machine. We open an artery that's either blocked or tightly narrowed using a combination of very fine guide wires that we thread down the artery and a balloon that's tracked along the guide wire into the point of narrowing. We then use pressure to inflate the balloon and open up a channel. That allows us then, in almost every case, to put a little metal tube in called a stent. That's a cylindrical device that expands and works like scaffolding to keep the artery open permanently. People generally feel a little bit of pressure, but not discomfort when the tubing is being moved inside the arteries. We expect these operations to take anything between 30 or 40 minutes and a couple of hours. Sometimes, depending on the complexity of the procedure, it can take longer. Increasingly, with use of the wrist artery, it's feasible for people to go home the afternoon of the procedure. The main complication that people suffer is bruising uh, where the tubing goes into the artery, either in the wrist or in the groin. Overall, there's less than 1% chance of serious complications. When you have a stent put in, you'll need to be on aspirin and a blood thinning tablet for several months, if not a year, after the procedure. That's routine and allows the artery to heal. Still was a bit apprehensive about it. You do feel a, a bit of discomfort in the chest. I had a bit of an headache at one time. We were really happy with the results of the procedure. It restored flow to a previously blocked artery and should improve the blood flow to a large portion of his heart. We would hope that his angina would be greatly reduced. I obviously, I was overjoyed when they told me they got through it and they managed to get three stents and it's well worth it in the end, I think. Heart disease is still the single biggest killer in the UK. But for over 50 years, we've tirelessly pioneered research that has helped transform the lives of people living with heart and circulatory conditions. Join our fight for every heartbeat in the UK. Every pound raised, every minute of your time, and every donation to our shops will help make a difference. <laughs>